we've got another bad boy clock to test from our friends at Bluekin. So let's get out of the box and see what we get for the money. Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Mike Makes It. Got another clock from our friends at Bluekin. It's the biggest one I've been supplied so far. So we'll open it up, see what we get for the money and uh, fire them up and see what it looks like. Yeah, got your clock here. Looks like remote control and the supplied power supply. So let's just pull that out of the box and clear a little bit of space for it. Right. The remote control is very similar to the other Bluekin remotes for the uh, clocks. Very handy, so I haven't got to climb up a chair to change the clock time should it go out at all. But you've got a Bluetooth button here, so we'll go into that in a, in a few minutes. But yeah, one additional feature on this clock is it's got Bluetooth function. Okay, you've got power supply plug in the wall, barrel jack adapter. You don't need to go and find a USB connector of any sort, it's all supplied in the box. And there's the clock. It's got the sticky back plastic we can peel off. We'll leave that on there for a moment. But let's fire it up, see what it looks like. In the box, you also get a manual, two sided color manual in English. Gives you a full description of how to set up all the functions on the clock, which is very handy. On the back of the clock, there are some mounting holes if you want to stick it on a wall. And you get a little template for that, so you haven't got to guess where to put the holes, which is nice. You turn the clock over. Full set of control buttons down the side should you need it. But the majority of those you'll be able to operate from the handset there. As I said, there's got distinct advantages from the old clocks you used to get, where you had to climb up on the wall, alter the time and the date. Don't need to do that now, you've got your own remote for that. In here, open this up. This is where your barrel jack will fit. You've got a connector here for the barrel jack. Cable tidy, run a bit of cable in here if you've got excess cable so it's not all trailing along on the desk, etc. We'll plug that in while we're here. There we go. So yeah, if you don't want three foot of cable trailing on your desk, you can just coil it up in the compartment. There's a cutout for the cable to come out. There are batteries supplied with the clock. And there, if you have a power interruption, you have a power cut, you haven't got to go and reset the clock um, because the batteries will take care of that. You won't get a display, but it'll keep the clock running in the background for you. So there's no resets going on. On the back here, you've got brightness adjustment. If you put it to auto, what will happen if you turn the lights off in the room the clock is in, uh, the, the display on the clock will get a little bit dimmer. Likewise, if the lights go on and the sun comes out in the room, uh, the display brightness will get greater. Or there is a fixed high or fixed low setting. Also on the back is a tilt-in bale. You can see that there. So if you want to put your clock on the side of a desk, for instance, it will quite happily rest on the tilting bale there. Quite a large speaker in the back for the alarm function. Just looking to see if there's anything else on the back. There's your light dependent resistor, LDR. You don't see too many of those now. Normally they're photo transistors. Basically, it's a component that when the light changes, the value of the resistance changes and it's been configured into the circuitry. So, um, if it gets dim in the house, the brightness is, uh, brightness will also dim if you're set to auto. So that's just the control for it. So if you put your finger over it, you're going to get the brightness changing on the clock. Let's turn him around. Nice, bright display. A little bit shiny. Let's see if we can minimise that. No, I think that's probably made it worse taking the protector off. But nevertheless, I took the protector off. There you go. Nice blue LED there. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything about the reflection there, I'm afraid. I'll try to minimise it. I'm turning back over. See what we're on. We're on auto. So you imagine I've put my finger over that sensor. It's going to think it's darker. So it will get dimmer. There you 
you go. Slowly dims down. I'll take my finger off the sensor. More light gets onto it and it'll come back up. Quite a nice changer. By default, as you can see, time and date, day, and you've got the date and the month flashing away down the back there. It is the wrong time currently, so we'll see if we can put that to the right time of where I am. I'll go and do that now. Batteries are supplied in the remote, which is a nice touch. They very often aren't. You've got to go buy your own batteries. So we'll just get those out, set the remote up. On the remote, batteries are now in. They're all AAA batteries for the clock and the remote. So if we, you've got an option, for instance, on and off for the clock. If you want to go to bed, you don't want the display on, simply switch them off. Uh, there's a few choices. Set button, we're going to set the time. Quick press on that. English, DST, daylight, save in time. That's when the clocks go forward and back. You've got an option with that on or off. Another quick set press. Is that the year? Yeah, that's the year. Seventh month? No, we're not. Currently, I tell a lie. Yes, we are. We're July. How the months go past. But we are the first. So let's. Oh, I've missed that. <laughs> Let's go cycle all the way around again, start again. Daylight saving time is set to on. 2024. Month is the seventh month. It isn't the second, it is the first. So I'm going to press the plus and minus buttons on the remote. Go to one. And it confirms it's Monday, which it is. So, hey, click again. Time. Let's do plus until we get to the right time of where I am. <clears throat> That's correct. Minutes are correct, so I'll press set again. And again. There we go. It's Monday. Temperature is 17 degrees. It's the 1st of the 7th. Lots of functions on here you can set if you wish. For instance, centigrade. I prefer centigrade being displayed, but if you don't want that, Let's just see that go through to, there you go, 62 degrees Fahrenheit, 17 degrees centigrade. Many, many more options on here. Timer, etc. cetera, um, alarm functions. They are all explained in the manual. So I won't go through all those now. What I will do, and it's quite important I mention this because the other clocks didn't have this function. It's the Bluetooth function. It's an app you put on your phone that this clock will synchronize when it sees your phone in the same room up to four times a day. There's no security implications. It purely looks for your phone and updates the clock to your phone. So if it was to drift out 30 seconds, once it sees your phone once a day, bop, it'll, it'll put the right time in for you. So um, on some of the older clocks, the accuracy wasn't so good as it might be, and you might get a drift off a minute a day, which no biggie, but seven minutes a week and month goes by, you're half hour out. At least with the Bluetooth function on this clock, that'll never happen. Assuming you do come home at some point during the day, the clock will synchronize with your phone and away you go. So we'll swap cameras and we'll fire up the Bluetooth app so you can see how easy it is. Right, we'll show you the Bluetooth side of it now. No app to load or anything like that. On my Apple phone, simply go into Bluetooth. And we'll wait for clock to show up. I've deliberately misset the time as well, just so you show you um, the Bluetooth side of it works. There you go, LED clock. I'm going to click that. Now look at the clock, 17.28 in the minute. Give it a couple of seconds. Bang. It sets the clock. And it will also set the time and date. Sorry, also set the date and month. But it set the time there. It was very obvious it changed from whatever it was to the correct time. And that's all linked through the phone. You haven't got to do too much about it. As I literally uh, click on Bluetooth, click on clock when you see it, and away you go. Nothing else to do. Four times a day, the clock will look for the phone. 
if it sees it it'll update it to the current time and date so that's really good you haven't got to even use your remote or climb up on a chair to change the time and date on it as i say there's many many other functions on here we could go through i've been through them on the older clocks or the other clocks i've reviewed but they're very intuitive very simple but you've got an hourly chime you can set up there's a timer count up count down function uh, various alarms you can set up if you wish but uh, yeah I, I think i'll leave you to read the manual and set it up to your your desire but yeah that's the clock from bluekin currently on amazon 34 pound approximately actually slightly less than 34 pound available in blue as you can see here or you can get it in red but i'm very happy this is going to go on the garage wall now so um, if you're interested follow the links um, i'll take you straight to amazon and you can pick one of these up for you but anyhow thanks for what watching mike makes it